Welcome back to everyone. It is me. Um, it is me. Yes, it is me, Vincent, again with another demonic demon. This time it's a request. Yes, I take requests and do them immediately. Anyways, this is Pokemon Black. Not Pokemon, um, not the black that just recently came out. I mean, like, the bootleg. It all started with, um, a bootleg collector. <coughs> he, he collects many kinds of bootlegs, like Pokemon Dynamo Raid, Chaos Black, etc. Which you can find them at pawn shops, Goodwill, Home Markets, whatever. Anyways, it starts off the player getting Pokemon Black. He gets some. Um, he um started a new game, and he chose um and he chose either Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Charmander, or Squirtle. And he also got the Poke. And he also got Ghost, the Lavender Town Ghost, not like not like um a Gengar, but the Lavender Town Ghost. <coughs> Anyways, the Lavender Town Ghost um has um has a move called Curse. It the move Curse does exist, but not in Generation One, so I was confused. It was um Ghost used um every time Ghost used Curse it. He, um, she, Ghost is a she, oh hi, anyways, um, again the player tried, um, using, uh, every time the player used Curse, it would kill a Pokemon and their trainer. Um, and um, the player would easily get, and the player would um just slide by the game like instantly, or well, not instantly. Um, <coughs> what? Alright, anyways, um, if you select a run, then the player would end as it normally does, but you could also select a curse. If you did, upon returning to the overworld, the player straight from the spot was gone. After leaving an ramping area, it would be replaced with a tombstone of the one that lavender tower. He thought the player figured that this was the gimmick of the game, allowing you to use the previously uncapturable ghosts. And because Curse made the game so easily, he essentially used it throughout the whole adventure. But, I know. Okay. So back viewers. And I'm back. Anyways, uh basically what the player did was mug the trainers and kill them. Yeah. Mugging trainers. The ghost. Oh yeah. Why'd you guys have your light? Because I can. Um He went to the Elite Four and after viewing the Hall of Fame, 
which consisted of Ghost and Copper Pants. What? Really? Um, the, after beating the Elite Four, it, on his, he viewed the Hall of Fame, which consisted of Ghost and a couple of other Pokemon he used. His screen cut the black in a box with words many years later. Then it cut to Lavender Town, like an old man was standing, looking at tombstones. And you realize that this was your character. Bum bum bum. That's a whole thing afterwards. Um. The man only ha moved half of your normal walking speed. You ha you no longer had any Pokemon with you, not even jokes. Well, up to this point was. It had been impossible to remove from your pot party through depositing the PC. The overworld was entirely empty. There were no people at all. There were still tombstones of the trainers that you used curse on, however. Pretty demented shit. Just pretty demented shit. You could go pretty much anywhere at the overworld at this point. Your movement was lim though your movement was limited by the fact that you had no Pokemon to use. Yeah? What? You hate Nick? You hate him? Anyway. What? What? Um, when you go anywhere at this, you could go anywhere, even though the fact, even though by the fact that you had no Pokemon to use HMs. And regardless where you went, the music of Lavender Town continued in infinite loop, which would have to be like heaven to my girlfriend. It said that the, it said that, um, it said that there was an infinite loop for Lavender Town no matter where you went, which would have to be heaven. What? Yes, she yes, she likes um Lavender Town. Show. Ugh. Um, that was Then a spot of tattered fear appeared was replaced by a weedle and then a pidgey. And as soon as the player realized as the program progressed from Rattata to Blastoise, these were all the Pokemon that he used to curse on. At the end of his rival's team, it was a, a youngster appeared. Then a bug catcher, these were all the trainers he used to curse on. Then, throughout the game, Lavender Town was playing, but it was slowly decreasing by in pitch. By the time your rival appeared on the screen, it was more than. It was more it was a little more than a than a demonic rumble. After it cut to black, a few moments later, the battle screen appeared. The trainer sprite was now was now that of an old man just saying that he chooses you how to catch Pokemon in Viridian City. The ghost appears on the other side. You're fucked, man. If you wanna fight if you're gonna fight ghosts then you're fucked. Ghost and that says go Ghost wants to fight Ghost
ghost, did you, did you, did you just simply just kill an old man? I don't really care. Okay. But the creepy pasta. The creepy pasta clearly just said that the. Sure, fear. Anyways, the only option that you had was fight. You couldn't use any items. You had no Pokemon, and you couldn't escape. Ghost is pure evil. Using fight would immediately cause you to struggle, which didn't have any effect on Ghost, but it did chip off a, a chip off a bit of HP. What was Ghost intent to attack? It would simply just say dot dot dot. Eventually, when your eventually when your health points reach to a critical, your Ghost would finally use Kurt. It cut black for a, a, a final time. Regardless of the buttons you pressed, you were permanently stuck on a black screen. At this point, the only thing you can do is turn the Game Boy off. When you play it again, your game is the only option. The game had erased the file. The player didn't. <clears throat> the player played through this half the game anyways, and every time the game ended with the sequence, several several times he didn't use ghosts at all, though though she was impossible to remove from the party. In these cases, it did not show any Pokemon reaching and simply cut to the climatic battle with ghosts. I'm not sure what the motives were behind the creator of this hack, even though it wasn't widely distributed, so it presumably not for monetary again. It was well done for a bootleg. He seems. What? I don't get it. Anyways, even though he says that it seems to convey a message, not ghost. Ghost is not a she. A he. Ghost is a basically a she. It seems ghost was trying to convey a message, though it seems that that he is the sole receiver of the message. He's not sure entirely what it says. Never will you be inevitable, the inevitability, inevitability of death, the pointless of it. Perhaps Ghost was trying to turn, trying to turn morbidly inject death and darkness.